with that, we will begin. Senator Horton. Good afternoon, Senator Rector, Representative Prescott. It's a pleasure to be before this committee. Uh, I did have the opportunity to serve uh, sitting next to Senator Rector, and he was a great mentor for me on this committee, and I appreciate that. Also, I see you have the great support of Rhonda and Natalie still here, so you guys are in some pretty good hands. We are indeed. Um, you'll notice that I didn't open the candy. Uh, I just want for the record everybody to know it's not a shameless bribe. It's, <laughs> it's tribute required when you come back before a committee that you once served on. <laughs> I also want to thank you, the Chairman Rector. I want to thank you for the, the, the way that you uh, started the proceedings today because I think this issue is very emotional to some people and I think that what we need to do transcends personalities. It transcends what uh, what I want to accomplish with this piece of legislation, and uh, so I thank you for setting that uh, forward. Senator Rector, Representative Prescott, and distinguished members of the Labor Committee, Labor Commerce Research Economic and Development Committee. Sorry about that, John. <laughs> I'm John Courtney. I represent the people of Alfred Lyman, Waterboro, Limington, and all of Sanford and Springvale, and I'm here to present. Uh, LD 1778, an act to, that relates to the governance of the Maine State Housing Authority. LD 1778 removes the provision that, de, that provides the director of the Maine State ha Housing Authority serves a four-year term in office. This bill <laughs> provides that the director does not have a term of offer, office and the director serves at the pleasure of the Maine State Housing Authority. It also removes the provision of law that states that the powers and duties of the Maine State Housing Authority, with certain exceptions, are vested solely in the director of the Maine State Housing Authority. In short, this bill will promote stability, predictability, credibility, and confidence in a quasi-government agency with assets totaling nearly $2 billion and serving over 90,000 Mainers. It does so by bringing accountability and transparency to the Maine State Housing Authority. The stated mission of the Maine State Housing Authority is to assist people to obtain and maintain decent, safe, affordable housing and services suitable to their unique housing needs. In carrying out this mission, the Maine State Housing Authority will provide leadership, maximizing resources, and promote partnerships to develop and implement sound housing policy. The question we have before us today is how do public officials elected by the people of Maine ensure that the mission is being carried out in an effective, cost-efficient, and caring manner. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the things that you all have heard in the news uh, over the last few months, but I'll tell you that uh, I think that's why this bill has to come forward and this issue has to be dealt with as soon as possible, because of the investment across the state, the economic engine uh, that exists through affordable housing. We need to make sure that the investors and the people that make commitments and the people on the waiting list for the Housing Authority, uh, the structure is in place and the confidence to move forward this, with these investments is not inhibited. And that's why sometimes you, you need to shake things up to move forward in a more productive, constructive manner, and I hope that that's what this will do. And I'm especially pleased that it's before your committee today, because I know that you guys have I've seen the work that this committee has done in a thoughtful, pragmatic, nonpartisan way. And I hope that that's the will be the result of this committee. With that, I would be glad to answer any questions. Chairman Director, are there questions of Senator Gordon? Seeing none. 